Hi everyone, this is uh, Happy Puppy Truffles, which is a daily origami tutorial on YouTube, and I wanted to show you guys today an unboxing or unwrapping of some origami paper. And today I was going to share with you guys some really pretty kind of um, kits that you can get in Japan that feature, uh, you know, nice uh, yuzen uh, kind of chiogami paper um, that are not your typical, like we've done some of the kits that were more like for kids and toy oriented, things that look like food, things that are, um, you know, paper airplanes, those kinds of things. This is more, you know, traditional touristy kind of souvenir kind of things, but still really pretty. So <laughs> I wanted to just kind of show you guys what's out there. Certainly if you're, if you're visiting Japan and you're in a big city like Tokyo or in Kyoto, you're going to find these kinds of kits everywhere. And um, they do get kind of pricey because they do know they're in a tourist place so they can kind of overprice some things. Um, these usually, you know, are a couple hundred to two, three hundred yen usually for stuff like this. So, um, you know, if you get a chance to just go to a regular department store um, or to a, like, a stationery shop, which we call a bungia-san, you should go to those kinds of places to kind of find things rather than just in the souvenir places where they overprice stuff a little bit. Um, the first one I was just going to show you guys is another really pretty kit by uh, Toyo, and they always make such beautiful things. And this kit is just features these really beautiful boxes with really pretty designs. You get um, also some tanto paper, tanto paper in here, which is beautiful too. So you, you really high quality stuff for sure. Um, the nice thing is too that some of this is in English, so that's always a plus. You're going to make five different kinds of boxes here. You get uh, to make this kind of, uh, what is this? One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six. It's like a hexagon. <laughs> That's right there, six sided. Sorry. A box, and then this like ribbon top, the to flower top, and this kind of dome top size. I'll let it kind of open up and let you guys see what it looks like on the inside. Just so pretty. Pretty, pretty fun stuff if you're looking for a neat kind of way to buy an origami paper. This is definitely the way to do it. So this comes with. Uh, the instructions, which is nice, and um, these are uh, designed by Makoto Yamaguchi. So he's he makes beautiful work, uh, gorgeous things. His instructions are usually pretty clear and easy to follow. Um, unfortunately, I can't do his tutorials anymore, but his stuff is really good. So you know you're getting good stuff with these things for sure. Uh, you get some of this paper in here that is. Um, the printed paper and to be honest I was a little disappointed when I first got it because I saw that there's tanto paper in here and I thought well that means the paper is a really high quality this is just your standard I mean it's double sided so that's nice but it's just your standard kind of print tiogami paper it's not nice um, actual washi like you know good high quality print paper I wish it was more like that then it would be perfect but it's it's okay. So, so you have all these different designs and styles. Some of them you have to cut down to make to the right size, you know, so that you can make the different pieces for your boxes. But they are all double-sided, so you get a really nice finished project uh, from everything. And then you get the sheets of the uh, tanto paper here as well. There's, um, how many are there in here? I think it said there was like 15? 13. 13 pieces. Um, different colors so that you can get a nice kind of base to some of your boxes. Really pretty good strong base for the box. And then just, you know, your random kind of origami paper that's included too. Usually you don't use those for any of these crafts. This is just extra so that you can have it to do for your own kind of projects. So, uh, but that's sort of what's included in this kind of a kit. Really pretty stuff, good quality, even though the paper could be a little better quality, but for what it is, it's not bad for sure. And you get really neat, fun designs that are, are by um, Mr. Yamaguchi. And his stuff is not so easily available outside of Japan. So getting these kinds of things, uh, any of his kits that he does, are always a fun way to get some of his stuff. So there's that one there. And then you have these really traditional kind of things. And some people would argue that this isn't even really origami. It's more like paper craft. Because you're using this really nice paper <laughs> to make kind of little displays. Now, there is this is uh, origami paper and some washi paper and stuff like that in here. Um, this is for Hinamatsuri, which is the doll festival on the 3rd of March. And it's just this tiny little square uh, that you can kind of see where the square is. It's just right up to here. A little tiny guy, about 7 centimeters by 7 centimeters or so probably. 
Um, but a cute little display that you can then put a pretty kind of outer outline paper on it. You get to put little flowers and then you make the little uh, prince and princess here. Uh, and it's just basically stuff to help you cut things out and then glue it on. <laughs> and there is a tiny little bit of folding involved uh, for like their kimono and that's about it. So, um, you yeah, know, it's probably maybe cheating to say it's origami, but you're using the paper to do stuff. This is a little bit more folding. You can see there's uh, not by much, <laughs> just a tiny bit, but a little bit more kind of traditional design. This is more cute. Uh, this is a more traditional style. Again, you still have the same size kind of board. Um, so these make really cute things because there's a little string on them so that you can hang them uh, up when you're finished, but uh, fun little projects to do. And then this one is super cute. It's a little star making kit. And uh, you make these little cute little stars and, um, and you can put a strap on them and use them to put like on your cell phone or on your pencil box or those kinds of things. But it just includes the strip of paper and instead of it just being plain, it's these pretty printed, um, and this is good quality, good quality paper in here. This is 300 yen, so it's a little, little expensive, but the quality of the paper is there so you know you're getting good stuff. Um, and it has the instructions, I believe, on how to make a star, too. So if that's something you need help with, yeah, it just tells you here how to make the star. <laughs> and the paper that you have here is nice and long. And there's a nice big long piece for that. So uh, you can make a few, I would say, with this. I don't think you need this whole strip to make it. Maybe if you want to make it really strong, I guess you would. And it does recommend to use some glue. So it's a good a good kit for sure for the price. If you want to make some kind of fun little star gifts for people after your visit here. So I would, you know, I think this kind of stuff can be a really fun alternative to just regular old origami projects. But some stuff with some higher quality paper in them for sure and yet still giving you a chance to kind of make like a kit design uh, for fun kind of variation to some origami for if you're out traveling or you get a chance to buy these where you are. Um, if you guys have any comments or questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And if you know of any place in your area, in your country, where you've been able to find something similar, please feel free to let everyone know where that was. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.